film camp. And I'm going to let Melissa talk about that. Um, film camp is a, a week-long camp that we do during the summer. This year it's going to be the second week of June. Um, you go there for the whole week. Um, probability is that it's free. If it's not going to be free, it'll be a very low cost or there will be scholarships available. We're going to go to Camp Wilson in Bell Fountain. I don't know if any of you have ever been there. Some schools take trips to Camp Wilson. It's a YMCA camp. There's a lake. There's boat, you know canoeing. There's high ropes and all kinds of stuff to do there. We'll be there for the whole week. But the mo most thing you get to do is you break into groups and you get to actually come up with an idea for a commercial. And you actually film and edit and produce this commercial. It has to do with abstinence, either from sex before marriage or drugs or alcohol or bullying or whatever your idea comes up, you know, whatever idea you come up with. And if you, um, then at the end of the week we do a competition, and if your commercial wins, you actually get your commercial put on TV. It airs on national TV, and it's, it's a really fun time. I don't know if anybody here has been yet. Frank's granddaughter is going to be coming this year. For sure. It's a roommate. Um, it's a really good time. The other, you know, the other program we do is called ROP. It's Rites of Passage. And what we do is we just do workshops and have some fun things to do. Um, like Frank said, it's for character building. And, um, you know, if you guys have stuff on your mind, we're always willing to, to talk. And, you know, we just do projects and kind of do stuff that helps you get the tools you need to succeed and, and be a leader and be the person that you know you want to be. And it starts with you guys, you know. You guys are the the future of America, you know. So we want you to succeed and we want you guys to do well. So that's pretty much what it is for the ROP. We have a lot of fun in the uh, ROP. Uh, sometimes uh, Alex or Samantha, those are our, our youth program or director. We have two facilitators yeah. that are way younger and a lot more fun than us, yeah. just so you know. Sometimes they even bring uh, <laughs> sandwiches in. If anybody's hungry, mm -hmm. they'll bring some food in for you guys to have something to eat and drink, you know. And uh, they're really good, really good guys. Um, Alex is uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, he's a youth pastor too, I think. He I works with his youth group, yeah. yeah. And Samantha, she's really good with uh, working with uh, young girls uh, to make sure that, you know, because we have a lot of problems with young women right now uh, making the wrong choices. And she kind of helps us that straight. You know, if you guys want to make the right choices, you know, she's a good person to talk to. If you need a shoulder to lean on, she'll be the perfect person. You know, for guys, Alex is a good person to call. You know, he can help you make the right choices. If you're in trouble or something, you need some help, you know, we can come out and give you a hand. Alex would love to talk with you guys. The only reason they can't, didn't make it today is because they got classes tonight teaching. But uh, we want to set something up. I know it's crowded in here and it'd be kind of awkward to try to set up a class for you guys in here. But we're going to be opening up uh, the YMCA too on a certain date of the week. So if you guys need a place to come, you can hang out at the Y with Alex and Sam too. We can arrange transportation if you guys, we're going to try to work something out so that, you know, we have at least three cars out there if people need picked up and, you know, brought out. So, we also have permission slips if your parents want to have, know more information, they can give us a call or things like that. And do we have any artists in here? Anybody that likes to draw? Really good at it too? Because uh, Victor was telling me that he wants that back room back here. Uh, some, uh, put some, uh, what do you call it? Mural up there. Uh, you want your portrait up there? So you have to draw it yourself. You have to do it yourself. Does anybody ever use an airbrush gun? Do you use an airbrush gun? He's still back here. That's what, I, that's what I do. I teach the airbrush class. Uh, when I was at the Opportunity Center, I was teaching the, uh, some of the kids airbrush work. And we did a mural over here at the old, on the, well, you guys probably don't remember, but the old unemployment office. You know where the furniture office is? By the pathway? You know, you know where the pathway is? Okay. Anybody know where H&R Block is at? Yep. How about Kroger? Kroger's? Cross from Kroger. Kroger, okay. 
Been there. <laughs> been there. Uh, we had about five students that I was teaching how to do airbrush, and we did we did one huge big mural on the wall just like this.